is using your multimeter to check for continuity and so what we'd like to do is so what, what are you checking for you're, you're really measuring resistance and we could do it by actually quite and so resistance is is simply what the word states it resists the flow of, of electrons or the flow of electricity and the um unit of measurement is ohms and the greek letter omega is what represents the resistance value in ohms <clears throat> so that's why you see that symbol we also have a audible signal so if we wanted to check for continuity and you may not be able to hear this but when i touch my leads i'm getting an audible indicator <clears throat> i'm getting a beeping a constant beeping sound the other thing we could do is by measuring resistance. See, your meter is saying OL, and you also see this uppercase M. So what is showing that what that OL represents is open loop, or there's no continuity, or the resistance is infinite. And that would also be indicated by you see the the, the uppercase M would be mega ohms. But the bottom line is you see this OL, which means open loop or infinite resistance. But when I touch the leads. you see a very small value of resistance. So, you know, the, the highest number I see here is uh, less than 20 ohms. Well, certainly you see a, a less than one ohm. So I was not touching the leads very hard, but when I really put them together, We get a small value resistance. So we could do the same thing as far as checking for checking materials that are good conductors or insulators using our multimeter. And I'm going to grab two of the test leads to make this real easy. I mean, two of the alligator clips connect the black one, one in the black one to the black lead on the meter. And I'm gonna take a red alligator clip connected to the red lead on the meter. And so now we can check for continuity using the multimeter. And with my piece of wood, uh, on my, I've got it on the audible indicator. Um, I'm, hear nothing but you're also on the screen you're seeing ol <clears throat> or open loop and if i put it on resistance you're going to see the same thing uh, and so what a meter is saying is we've got an open loop there's not continuity or the resistance is uh, larger than what the meter can measure <clears throat> what about the nail you may not be able to hear it but um, I'm getting a auto, um, audible indicator. I've got a constant beat, but also you see the resistance being measured is zero. And we could do the same thing with our rubber band. And once again, you've got open loop or no continuity. Same thing when I when I met try to actually measure the resistance. <clears throat> so once again, just another example of how you can use your multimeter to do a lot of simple things, but a lot of very practical things. <clears throat>